So I look at my wallet. I didn't have Drew Jr.'s raincoat. So I had to jump without the raincoat. It was a risk that we were willing to take. So at that point, I had to dive in. Oh, yeah. So what I did was I took Dancing into the bedroom. We sat on the bed. Some sparks start flying. So as things were about to get super spicy, my friend comes walking right through the door. Busting into the door. Talking about, do you guys want McDonald's? say that anymore I promise I'm gonna stop saying that because I always say it you guys already know if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button why haven't you subscribed yet <laughs> and most importantly make sure you turn that post notification because when you turn it on I turn you on let's go all right guys so all of you have been telling me and requesting me to do this video so it's only right that i do this video in this video we're gonna just tell you our first time doing it <laughs> story time because everybody when i mean everybody everybody in my dms Same. on my youtube comments everything do a story time on your first time doing it so guys, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be doing a story time on our first time doing it. Now, before we get into this video, I'm gonna need everyone, number one, to hit that like button. This way, the Drew crew can grow and more people can hop on the wave. Number two, comment hashtag Drew crew does not lose or team Drew versus team destiny. Comment what you think. And third, <laughs> go get your popcorn, cause this story's gonna be a little bit juicy. And maybe get some juice, lemonade. Guys, or that chocolate cannon for brunch. Guys, she she made a point. I, I forgot. Third, guys, make sure you get popcorn, extra butter, because this video is about to be buttered up, aka juicy, aka spicy, spicy. So let's get right into this video. Let's go. Okay, guys, in this story time, I'm gonna let Desi talk. No, not the whole time, please. I am so bad at storytelling. Like, oh like I said the last video, I'm gonna be like, and then, and then, and I'm gonna be fucking laughing, and then, like, and then, and. You already know, like, this is even off camera when I tell him stories. Like, when I tell him a story, I'm like, and then, he's like. Oh, and then. Alright, guys, I guess I'll start the story off. Alright, guys, so let's get right into this story. Do you remember the year? 2019, 2018, baby. It was a New Year's party from 2018 to 2019. Yeah, but. So it was. You didn't. Even, you skipped the whole beginning. You're in the middle now. No, it was we were at the New Year's party. Let me tell the story. Bye. Guys, so the year was 2018 when, you know, things were looking bright and right. Drake had just dropped Scorpion album <laughs> and everything was going perfectly. You know, everything was in perfect balance. Guys, everything was in perfect balance. Even Thanos snapped his fingers and wiped out half of the population. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Everything was in perfect balance. So this was in 2018 and we went to a New Year's party. So basically 2019, what, like 30 minutes after? Yeah. So basically 2019, basically. Not 2018, it's basically 2019. But it was 2018 before 12 a.m. because... <laughs> you guys know, it's New Year's. You guys get it. It's next New Year's. Month, so it's 2018 year. New Year's. So you, you guys understand. So yeah. we had went to a New Year's party. Now remember, I already knew her. And I hung out with her a couple times before we went to that New Year's party. And um, I'm gonna give the story back to Destiny. Go ahead and take from there. Okay, so this New Year's party, like, I didn't really know anybody there because they're all his friends. I only knew the person that was throwing the party because I hung out with him one time with his friend. That was during a New Year's party, so I previously know that guy. So, so... Okay, guys, so let me take the story back over. So, guys, we went to a New Year's party. It was my friend that was throwing the New Year's party. 
And I said, why don't I invite Destiny to come over, you know? I was single at that time. I really had nothing to lose, you know what I'm saying? Even though I come from not losing, I had nothing to lose at this point. So I said, why not invite Destiny to come over to this New Year's party? I knew she wasn't doing anything previously, so I said, let me invite her and see what happens. So I invited Destiny to come to the New Year's party, and she said yes! And I also- She said yes! <laughs> so yeah, guys, I did get that text message from Andrew telling me, come to the New Year's Eve party, and it was already like probably 9 o'clock at night, and I was literally in my PJs in my bed watching, I think I was watching Nemo. So I was like, okay, so I literally got up, got dressed, I put like a nice cute dress on, nothing, I think it was like a sundress, something like that. And then I headed over to the party. He sent me the Addy and then I just went. That's the power of the crew, guys. She got up in her PJs watching Nemo. I mean, who does, who does this? Me. Think about it. <laughs> think about it. If you were sitting down at 9 o'clock at night watching Nemo in your PJs and you get a random text, would you... Get up and go? If it's to a party... Or would you just sit there and yeah. relax still? That's the power of the crew, guys. You don't understand. But the thing is, it wasn't like I was in bed for hours. I had like just got in bed and just turned it on. Like after I showered and stuff like that. So like all I had to do was just fix my hair up and then throw something on and go. If I needed to like shower and like do all that, then I probably would never went. Damn. But I showered. So guys, so that's that's that. Destiny pulled up, you know, she came to the party and remember, this is a New Year's party with all my friends. At this time, I never posted Destiny or I never really talked about her to them ever. So they didn't really know who she was, but I did tell her, I'm gonna invite a friend over. And um, she's a they girl. They didn't know, yeah. <laughs> now you gotta remember, most of my friends at that time didn't have girlfriends or didn't even have any female friends. So this party was just straight dudes. Like it was straight dudes in a house. Maybe and like two other girls, but like they were like, it was like, it, literally, the ratio was like, for every 10 dudes, there was like one girl. That was the ratio. <laughs> like, that's how it really was. Like, that's how it was. So, I had told my friends, like, yo, I'm inviting this girl named Destiny over. Like, when she gets here, everyone should be cool. Like, you, you know how, man, you know how guys can get. I, the crew knows how guys can get. So, they all said, okay, whatever. They're, they're gonna be cool. But, guys, when Destiny pulled up to the party, I swear, for some reason, my friends just wanted to switch up. And... Really? Wait, I didn't I didn't really know that. Yeah. <laughs> what? They wanted to be like, ooh, who's that? I'm like, yo, I told you that's Destiny's my friend. Like, you know, oh, I'm gonna try to talk to her. I'm sitting here like, there's a reason why I invited her. Not for you. For me. <laughs> for me. Not for you, for me. But, you know, the Drew crew does not lose. So I said, okay, yeah, go ahead, try to talk to her. Guys, I wanted to see who could get Destiny. Because if Destiny rejected all of them and she liked me, then you know it's confirmed. But let's say Destiny likes someone else. Then I would have to let it be. So, <laughs> what I said to each and every one of them, I said, go ahead, try to get with Destiny, see what happens. They so all- is that why, like, every single person came up to me that night? Yeah. Like... Well, I didn't, I didn't, guys, I didn't really tell them, like, go. I only told them if they came up to me and said, oh, she's fine, who's that? I said, go try to talk to her. That's, that's how it was. I didn't say, guys, everyone talked to Destiny. It was like- But I felt like it was like, I talked to every single Because one. they all came to me. Literally every they, single one of those They literally all to came to, up to me individually, like, at different times, and it was like, Oh, she fine. I'm gonna try to talk to her. I'm gonna try to spit some game. I was like, go ahead. Let me, let me know what happens. Dude, I remember. So this oh, is no I'm, I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna have to go back. So I'm kind of forward. But let me finish this segment and I'm, let me go back. So everyone, you know, I'm gonna say like good, like ten of my friends go up to Destiny try to spit game. And from a distance, I'm watching. She's just like, <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> and Destiny's drink. She's like. And then like each and every one, it was the same like segment. They they would be like, and they would turn around and walk back to me. And I'd be like, like, so what happened? And they'd be like, she said, nah. And it happened like like it literally happened like like a bowling ball with strike pins. It was like bop, 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 bop. Like they just kept they all just kept getting rejected. What happened? Because like from a girl's perspective, like you know when a guy is just trying to like get with you or get with you. The girls know. So it's like they kept. I I swear, half of them like came up to me and was just like, "Do you want another drink?" Which that's like a red flag. Like, why do you want me to get another drink? You Bro. know. So it's just like. They folded. Yeah. That How do you just say you wanted a drink when there's like drinks that you can get by yourself? And, yeah, and right I was there. holding one and it was full. And you're asking me for another drink, so it's just like I already know what you're trying to do. Guys, this is a house party. We're not a bar. Like you That's don't you saying. don't gotta ask them for another drink. Like they can go help themselves. Like so I was just like Or you could say you wanna drink with me, you wanna have a shot with me. And you and he knows how I am. Like I like funny people. If you could make me laugh, then that's it. Like you gotta be like funny and on my humor. 
like none of them were just it. That's where the Drew comes into play. Let me rewind. So I went forward. So I hit Destiny up. She said yes. Yeah, she's coming to the party. And when she pulled up, she walked in. I gave her a hug. I was like, "What's up?" You know, I didn't want to rush things too quick. You know, I didn't want to invite her and then just like be hovering over her the whole the whole night. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't do that because people get creeped out. Which I wanted you to do because I was I didn't know any of those people. Well, you gotta play it cool. So what I did was. I was talking to her for a little bit, but then I would switch, like I would talk to her and then talk to my friends and then come back. I was like a ping pong, I was like bouncing back and forth, you know what I'm saying? I like Thanos, a perfect balance, 50-50. I can't be 100% hovering the whole night, but I can't be 100% not hovering. Perfect balance. And another, another thing that did help was my friend, one of my friends came. She had came with a couple other girls that I knew, so so that made me feel a little bit more better because like it wasn't just straight dudes anymore, it was like, it was kind of like half and half now. So like, I'm gonna say like 30 to 40 minutes after Destiny came, then some of her friends came. So for that 30 to 40 minutes, my guy friends were just trying to get what they were hovering. Them. But they were getting rejected, like left and right. So that confirmed to me that this may be meant to be. So <laughs> let's fast forward a little bit throughout the night. So you know, me and Destiny are drinking a little bit. Not too crazy, just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Guys, I'm such a lightweight. Two drinks just and I'm a done. A little bit. Me and Destiny weren't done. We were we were literally sober perfectly fine. So at this point, it's 11.58. It's about to be New Year's, guys. So I had to come in clutch, you know? I had to get that New Year's kiss. So when the ball was coming down, we were watching on TV, and it hit 12. You know what I'm saying? I, had, I, I went in. I went, I was like... <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? I got the New Year's kiss. You know what I'm saying, guys? So Was that our first kiss? Second. So that was our second kiss. If you guys want another story time of our first kiss, then we'll oh we'll gosh, talk about that too. Want... <sighs> All right, we'll talk about that in another video. Let's stay on this topic. Okay. So that was confirmed for me that you know Destiny likes me. Let's 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 start fast forwarding a little bit because I know you guys want to get to the juicy part. So this is where it starts getting juicy. Now, New Year's is over with, right? It's like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. People are like passed out. Everywhere. People are starting to fall asleep. So you know. The house was getting quiet. I take Destiny to a bedroom that was completely empty. Nobody was in there. And all my friends are either drunk, passed out, or they're in yeah. their own, they're eating or they're in their bedroom. Like nobody's talking to me or Destiny at this point because everyone is just kind of done. Mm -hmm. So I thought it's the perfect time to go swim in the ocean. Oh! So what I did was I took Destiny to the bedroom. We sat on the bed. Then you know, things start getting a little spicy. And right when things are about to Get to the to the top. My friend comes walking through the door. Comes walking right through the door, busting into the door. Do you remember what he said? Talking about, do you guys want McDonald's? <laughs> and he was like this, peeking. He wasn't even like this. Yeah, he he was came like this. this. You guys want McDonald's? He was because he didn't know what was going on. He literally didn't even knock, busted through, and he, through, was, and he was he was like, I swear he was peeking. Even though nothing was going on, he was like this, look, do you guys want McDonald's? Like, trying to like, you know, figure, to find the light And remember guys, things were about to happen. Like, it was an inch away from swimming, deep in the ocean, if you guys know what I mean. And right when that's about to happen, boom, he comes in. Do you want McDonald's? You guys want McDonald's? So that just cut everything off. At that point, I was like, man, you couldn't wait at least 25 to 30 more minutes before you asked me if I want McDonald's at 3 a.m. That honestly so, was really funny. So guys, me. that just set everything back. So I was about to go to home base, but now I'm back in the dugout. No, I'm not even in the stadium. I'm, I'm in the parking lot in the car. Like No, you're on the road to the parking lot. After he walked in, guys, <laughs> I went from 100 to zoop to zero. It was done. Like, Drew Jr. was back in my stomach, and it was done. Like, there was no, it was done. So I was basically done, but this is the most important part. This thing, Tell him this part real quick. Okay, so after he asked us if we wanted McDonald's, and we said no, he went and to- And you know who you are. Yeah. <laughs> Can we say his name or no? No. <laughs> so after he said no, like, we don't want McDonald's, like, no thank you, he goes to, like, close the door again, but then he just opens it, and then comes back and sits on the bed with us and starts talking. So by this point, like, he laid in between us. He laid in between us, and then he was just like, you know, he was drunk, so he was just like talking, you know, just talking about whatever, and then like me and Andrew just like, like literally like looking at each other, like with him in the middle right here. So it was pretty funny. Tell me how this dude, I know Destiny just said it, but I gotta repeat it because I can't fathom this thought. 
Tell me how this dude walks into the room right when things are about to get spicy and crazy and lays right in between us talking about, <laughs> you know, I just want to talk to you guys. Like, bro, do you not see what's happening? Like, you know the code. Like, I'm in the room with Destiny. But it wasn't really his fault. He it was, wasn't he his was, He had stuff in his system. He had stuff. Okay, but he could, he could talk to me 20 minutes after. Guys, he comes in the room and lays right next to us, like... And you want to know the worst part is, too? He was in there for, like, an hour or more with us talking, which was fine. Like, we enjoy his company so much, but, like, at that time, it was just, like, bad timing. Horrible timing. Guys, you gotta remember, I'm trying to go crazy. I'm, about to, I'm trying to take a dip butt naked into the ocean. <laughs> so it's like, why are you laying in between us if we're both in the bed in the dark? Like... What do you and know? it was dark. There was no light in there. There's probably like one little light in the corner from like a system, like an Xbox or something. So like, this, this is, you guys think we're at the worst part. It gets even worse. Tell me how this dude falls asleep <laughs> in the middle of us. Like I got my pants halfway down. Destiny's pants are halfway down. And he's like in the middle of us. He wasn't under the blanket with us. He, he laid on top of the blanket. So like, it, we were kind of like trapped in the blanket, if that makes sense. So you left out the most important detail. Me and Destiny were under the blankets, with you know, with, with pants halfway down and stuff. And my friend wants to come in the middle, on top of the blanket and fall asleep. <laughs> so now it's three, four in the morning, and time is ticking. I, I'm, my friend is snoring, falling asleep, and I'm looking at Destiny like, and she's like, because we both were on the same page. We we're both like. We're trying to go crazy. So we can't do this if this man is sleeping in the middle of us. So I told Destiny, just wait. He might wake up and leave. An hour goes by. It's like 4.30 at this almost point. Almost 5. It's almost 5. We're sitting there. He's sleeping. I'm nudging him. He's not He's waking like up. He's like snoring. We, had, we literally had to get up. Guys, we couldn't go anywhere else because this is the only room that had the least people in it. It was only one person because he fell asleep, my friend. So, every other room had like three or four people in it. So this was the only best spot. So I told Destiny, let's go to the refrigerator, get hot sauce, pour it down his mouth, maybe he'll wake up and like, he'll go wash his mouth or something. When he walks out the door, let's lock the door. Tell me how we poured hot sauce in his mouth. Nothing happened. And nothing, he swallowed that shit. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> and I literally went like this. I literally have all this on video. Well, we're not gonna put it in because it's gonna show his face, but literally I went like this. And all he did was he went back to sleep. Guys, if you want to know who this guy is, I have I actually have him on my channel. I'm gonna tell you what video it is, but you're gonna have to search. It's the first cheating video I ever did where Destiny pulled out a knife on me. He's in the video. So guys, if you're like all trying to figure out and put pieces of the puzzle together to see what he looks like, go to that video and then come back because you know what? I'm gonna time card it right here. He's in this video. Click that video right there, and that's the dude who was sleeping <laughs> in between us when I was trying to dive into the ocean off the cliff, the Puerto Rican ocean. Oh. But that's who was who was laying down. So let's let's go back, fast forward. So we get the hot sauce, we pour it down his throat. Nothing. He swallows that thing. But that kind of was like a good idea, but a bad idea at the same time. Because remember, he was in the middle of the bed, so he ended up rolling onto the one side of the bed. So we got in bed together on the side that was like empty. So yeah. So he literally rolls. To the other side of the bed, like I guess the hot sauce like activated like something in the system. Like we get to him, he just rolled and swallowed it, and rolled to the right side of the bed. Me and Destiny jump on the left side of the bed. So now I'm in the middle and Andrew's so on the. Me far. and Destiny are back under the covers. My friend is on top of the covers, and we're all the way close against the wall. So we're sitting there. We wait another 30 minutes. It's like six o'clock at this point. It's the sun's about to come up. Honestly. So at this point, I'm like, screw it. I gotta jump in to the Puerto Rican ocean because this is the only time I can do it. I can't do it any other time, guys. Now keep in mind, this is the first time me and Destiny were actually on a bed together by ourselves. Because at this time, there was no place to do that. Like my friend threw a news party and his parents were gone. They In another left. state. They left, so the house was completely empty. So anything goes. So this is the only time and we try to take advantage of it, but this screwed everything up. So we wait another 30 minutes. So it's like 6.30 at this point. I said enough's enough. I gotta jump in the Puerto Rican ocean. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be swimming in that ocean. I, mean, I gotta push the eject button. I gotta, I gotta go in. So this is what happened. I started telling Destiny, screw it, he's sleeping, he won't wake up. She's like, no, I don't know. I'm like, nah, screw it. So I look at my wallet. 
And unfortunately, I didn't have Drew Jr.'s raincoat. So, I had to just do what anyone would do in that situation. I had to jump without the raincoat. It just makes perfect sense. If you, anyone would do it, you would do it. I didn't, I looked at my wallet and didn't have the raincoat, so. It was a risk that we were willing to take. So at that point, I had to dive in, oh yeah. Yeah. Because if I didn't dive in, then I wouldn't be swimming in the ocean. And keep in mind, he's still next to us. So he's still next to us. And I, I look over and he's like. Knocked out, like KO. Like I start tapping out. him a little bit to see. Nothing, so I'm like, let's go. So, you know, things start getting a little spicy. And just before they're about to get super spicy, he rolls and puts his, his arm, arm. <laughs> over us. Now, I'm already swimming at this time, guys. I'm already in. You know, the salt water feels good. I'm in it. I'm winning. You know what I'm saying? I'm already in. And he rolls over and puts his arm over us. I still us. can't believe he did that. So you guys know I'm like this. I'm already I'm already swimming. Keep in mind I'm in the in the middle between them. I'm already swimming with no raincoat, which is okay. And he puts his arm over us. He was like, <sighs> let's do a re real quick. Okay, I was facing this way. You know what I'm, I'm already I'm already swimming at this point. I'm this swimming. way, and he's right here. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, guys, I'm putting in work. And as I'm putting in work, this happens. Destiny's right here. Yes. Ready? Yeah. Go. This is what happened. And me and Desi were like, I was like, oh shit. And his face was like right, like right here. Like he was like really close to Guys, me. if he would have opened one lid, he would have saw everything. Because at this point, the blankets were off. We were going crazy. You know what you get? You get in there, it's like a, you're like in battle. If you're in battle, there's no rules. We're in battle. We're going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Drew Jr. is going off. I'm going off. Destiny's going off. Throwing it back a little bit. And then he wants to do that. <laughs> Guys, at this point, I said, Destiny. Screw it right here. Screw this. Let's go to the closet. Because the closet was right in front of the bed. Because if to make, get you guys to make a vision, the bed is like this, and right in front of it, so the bed's like this, and right in front of it is the closet. So I said, let's go to the closet. So what happens is secretly get up. I had to move his arm. So yeah, so Destiny that. has to like, like a seatbelt. Destiny had to move his slowly. arm slowly. Slowly, put it down. And we just slowly got up. And remember, this, for everyone who doesn't know, this bed was squeaky. Like, any movement, it's like, squeak, squeak, squeak. Yeah. So we had to slowly get up. It literally took, like, 40 minutes. We had to get up, open the closet door, go into the closet, close the door. Now, this is where all the magic starts happening. I'm going crazy up in that closet for about a good 10 minutes. <laughs> the fucking shirts are, like, falling off. The shirts, the hangers are falling off, you know. Everything is going crazy. I'm jumping in the ocean. I'm diving in that ocean. The ocean's busted wide open. And right, <laughs> you know, right when the balloon was about to burst, the closet door wants to open up. And it was my other friend, the one who wasn't sleeping, it was my other one who saw everything. And you know what this man does when he opens his closet and sees? You know what he does? This is what we see. So we're going crazy, all of a sudden, we look, this is what he does. <laughs> and then closes the closet. I'm like, this dude really just took a picture. Now I can't post a picture here, I still have it. I might make an OnlyFans and post it on that, but maybe not, we'll see. Dude took a picture. He really did, and at this point, like, he was almost finished. Guys, I was like, I was almost finished. The finish line was right there. It was like I was in Fortnite and I was the last player alive and I was fighting one more player. And right when I go to kill him, my Xbox shut off. That's how it was. <laughs> there was no, like, I don't even think I finished. I got right to the end, right to the last finish line and then just stopped. Cause that just threw everything off. Yeah, it really did. So after that happened, the night kind of just, went downhill like after that happened drew jr just couldn't get up he just he was knocked out he couldn't you get know, up he was like disgusted that the he, his friend did that he couldn't get up guys i was doing 10 count i was going one two three and it got all the way to 10 and he just wouldn't get up he got knocked out so th at that point it was done destiny was upset but there's nothing i can do guys even if a, i wasn't upset with him uh, obviously if you have another grown man coming and taking pictures of you 
it's just kind of on top of grown men sleeping next to you, on top of them snoring. It just, I'm surprised Drew Jr. lasted as long as he did. It, for real, it was like three hours. Guys, he just, after that, it just didn't, it didn't work. Like, it just stopped. And then, yeah, so after that, we got dressed. And then you went so, out to go find your friend that took the picture. So yeah, after that, I went, found my friend, saw the picture, told him to delete it. But he deleted it, so I'm the one who has that picture. After that, we just kind of, that was it, I guess. Everyone, I, like, was kind of sort of waking up. Everyone was kind of waking up. And me and Destiny were just, like, laughing in the corner. Like, in the living yeah. room by ourselves, just talking about what the fuck. And we were eating the leftover pizza, too. They were eating the leftover pizza, just talking like, about it. what just happened? And then she was like, oh, I'm kind of sad that they kept in interrupting us and I was like I know like what the hell after that that was that was literally it after that the sun came up Destiny, everyone started leaving Destiny left I stayed a little bit longer because it was my friend and uh and uh and th that was basically it and I had left and that's it that's the end of the story yeah it, did we it, leave anything off no that was basically it because like after we ate the pizza like I was like all right it's already almost eight eight o'clock in the morning like I'm just gonna go home at that point and then you were helping your friend. But that day that was the next day, so January 1st, basically, um, that night, we ended up hanging out. And then we finished it off. You know, how to, you know how to come in clutch? I had to finish the business. Because the Drew Crew finishes what he starts. Or starts what he finishes. It don't matter. At the end of the day, you got to start and finish. So that's what we did. Yeah, basically. Guys, that's the end of the story time. Yeah. Make sure you drop a like, comment, hashtag McDonald's for... Do you guys want me done? And if you want to see the story time of our, our first kiss, kiss that's pretty drop interesting that too. down and I, we might do a story time on that. But that's it, guys. Let's go. Cool.